Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Waves from Slider here. In this video, I'm gonna continue building the navigation drawer which we started building in the last video. As discussed previously, there were 5 steps to create and get a navigation drawer fully working. Now we completed step 1 in the last video. In this video, let's further go ahead and complete step 2 and step 3. So step 2 is to initialize the drawer list view. Now the list should be populated by an adapter. Now of course if you're using a basic uh, array adapter or a custom base adapter, whatever is your choice, we can go ahead and fill the list view up with that choice. So let me go back here to Eclipse and show you exactly what I'm trying to say. So right now I have two list views here, drawer list view 1 and 2. So let me remove the array Android entries attribute and let me try to populate this programmatically. So at this point no data has been given inside both the list views. Go back to our main activity here, list view, let's say list view 1 and let's say list view 2. Or in the, be in the beginning let's just deal with one of them so that you guys don't get confused and then we can deal with the other one. So let me just keep one of them for now. Let's go back here. List view has been initialized by saying find view by ID. Now the next thing that we need to do is say let's list view set adapter new array adapter. So array adapter is gonna take context context int resource. The first parameter that we need to pass here is gonna be our activity itself which is gonna be this. The second parameter is android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one. Now this shows exactly what each item inside the list view should look like. Now if you guys know simple list item 1 actually contains a small text view inside that's all it contains. So for every row in the list view what we are gonna do is actually take a text view and fill it up with data. The third parameter we need is an array that indicates the object. So let me go ahead here initialize our array by saying string array say planets here. So at this point I need to initialize this so go down here say planets equals to get resources dot get string array r dot array dot planets and this is initialized so the third parameter that I'll pass here is the array containing the data itself so what's gonna happen is this adapter will use this reference for other purposes it will construct a layout for the list view whose appearance will be defined by this file r dot layout dot simple list item 1 it will take data from this array planets and it will populate the entire list view. So let's go ahead and run this and see exactly how things look. So what you guys see when you swipe from the left to right is the simple list view that pops up with all the planets. Now I know you guys are saying hey wait a second I want to see that list view with icons I want to see an expandable list view and so on. I will show you how to do that but first we need to talk about some basics about how to clear the action bar how to maintain the state between the drawer layout and the action bar and certain other actions like how to handle clicks when the item is selected, how to uh, keep other stuff relevant with your drawer layout and your navigation drawer and so on. So once this step is done, now the next thing that we need to do is to actually go ahead and handle an item click inside your list view. Now that would be step 3. So use the on item click listener to receive events when someone selects an item from that list view. So how do you handle that? Very simple. When the user clicks an item, the system calls the on item click inside where you can perform the actions that you need. <clears throat> so go back here and say list view dot set on item click listener and simply say this over here. So at this point it's gonna be an error. Let's press control one. Let main activity implement on item click listener. Okay. Again control one and unimplemented methods there's our own item click method that we have. So when the item is selected, let's say you want to display a toast or something. Let's say toast dot make text context. The text would be the data that we want to display over here. So in our case, what we want to display is which item was selected. The item that was selected is at the position this, right? Now at this position, what element we have is this, that is planets of position. So we want to say that planets of position was selected something like that and of course we want to make our text considerably longer so I'm gonna say toast.length underscore long and ultimately don't forget to show it so at this point things look pretty good <clears throat> again let's go and run this 
So at this point my app is again up and running. If I open my navigation drawer by swiping from left to right, I see the, all, the, all the options here. Click Uranus for example and at the bottom you will see a toast that says Uranus was selected which means on item click is getting called perfectly and things are working. So let's improve. So now let me make things a little better for our dull gray colored list view. I'm gonna make a background here. I'm gonna say hash FF8800 which happens to be my favorite color and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna remove the divider. I'm gonna say Android divider equals to null in XML. So that would be double quotes and add the rate null over here. So at this point if you take this nav test, if you click run here at the top. So now when you swipe from left to right, what you see is a beautiful little list view that we have without the dividers. Now of course this could be made still much better with all those icons and crazy fancy list views that you guys make. But we will be making them once we understand how we integrate this completely with our action bar stuff. So you go to click Uranus right now, it says Uranus was selected at the bottom with a toast. However, what we don't see is some kind of interaction between the action bar and our navigation drawer. Now what I would like more precisely is when I select Neptune over here, it should also change the title of this little icon where it says Viv's nav test over here, it should say Neptune or something like that. So that would be what I want to integrate completely with our action bar and our navigation drawer. So let me go back here, let me see what can be done for that. So when the item is clicked, what I want to do is I want to call a method called select position. So I'm going to say select item, something like that. I'm going to pass the position of the item that was selected. Let me declare this method here. Create the method. Private void select item. Nope, it's public. So inside this method, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the list view dot set item check that particular position is checked. That's what I want to ensure. And also I want to change the title. For that, I will make another method here called set title. I'm going to say public. And this is going to take a string argument as a title. It will, go, it will get the action bar by saying get support action bar dot set title and it will set the title as it is. In other words, it's a simple method. It takes a string argument, it sets the title of the action bar equal to that string argument. And now what I'm going to do is every time the item is clicked by the user, it's going to call select item, right? Inside the select item method, I'm going to set the title by saying set title I'm gonna say planets of position in other words whatever the position is say position is zero then planets of zero should be the title which would which happens to be mercury as the title of our action bar so let's take a look at this in action again let's run this here at the top so now as I slide up my navigation drawer pops up on the screen and if I say select Mars here at the top as you guys notice the title of the action bar also changes to Mars over here and that is just one step closer to making our fully functional navigation drawer with our action bar fully integrated. So in the next video we are going to go further and set some other events like handling and close the drawer opening and closing events and customizing some other stuff. In the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video, share this video Subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.